Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve a structural design problem that involves a column design using LRFD method based on eStructural Design Zen found on the App Store. Design a reinforced concrete rectangular column using load and resistance factor design that carries an axial bending load at strong axis with axial dead load of 1000 kN and axial live load of 200 kN with moment dead load of 100 kNm and moment live load of 200 kNm. Design criteria as follows. Strength of concrete, 28 MPa, vertical bars, 20 mm bar grade 276, lateral tie bars, 10 mm bar grade 276, steel ratio, 2%. Given actual dead load equals 1,000 kilonewton and actual live load equals 200 kilonewton, the factored actual load is 1,520 kilonewton. Given moment dead load equals 100 kilonewton meter and moment live load equals 20 kilonewton meter, the factored moment is 152 kilonewton meter for an eccentricity of 100 millimeters at strong axis. Enumerate input parameters required. Column name, C6, floor designation, footing to second, shape and ties, rectangle, tied, steel covering, 60 mm, unsupported height, 3000 mm, vertical bars, 20 mm bar at grade 276, steel ratio, 2%, lateral tie bars, 10 mm bar at grade 276, Strength of concrete, 28 MPa, factored axial load, 1,520 kN, factored moment, 152 kN, and eccentricity, 100 mm at strong axis. Given steel ratio equals 2%, assume column width equals 255 mm, and assume column length equals 510 mm, the area of steel is 2,601 square millimeters, and the number of vertical bars for 20 millimeter bar is 10, with 3 bars along short side and spacing between bars at 67.5 millimeters for 47.5 millimeters clear spacing, and 4 bars along long side with spacing between bars at 130 millimeters for 110 millimeters clear spacing. To get the nominal load and moment at E equals 100 mm, let neutral axis C equals 396.7 mm and height of stress block A equals 337.2 mm. Given length of column equals 510 mm and steel covering equals 60 mm, follow the given computations to get the distances of each barred layer from the edge of column and force type relative to neutral axis. D sub 1 equals 60 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 2 equals 190 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 3 equals 320 mm less than neutral axis compression. D sub 4 equals 450 mm greater than neutral axis tension. Follow the given computations for stress and force of each bar layer. Stress at D sub 1 equals 276 MPa with compressive force equals 260.124 kN. Stress at D sub 2 equals 276 MPa with compressive force equals 173.416 kN. Stress at D sub 3 equals 116.007 MPa with compressive force equals 72.889 kN. Stress at D sub 4 equals 80.61 MPa with tensile force equals 75.978 kN. Given FC prime equals 28 MPa, height of stress block equals 337.2 mm and column width equals 255 millimeters. The force of compression block is 2046.467 kilonewton. 
by summing up all the forces, the nominal axial load is 2,476.918 kN. Follow the given computations for final check of eccentricity at 100 mm. Given nominal axial load equals 2,476.918 kN and E equals 100 mm, the nominal moment is 247.692 kN meter. Check for adequacy. The nominal design load of 2,338.462 kN is less than 2,476.918 kN actual load capacity. And the nominal design moment of 233.846 kN meter is less than 247.692 kN meter actual moment capacity. Follow the given computations for lateral ties. Design recommendation as follows FC prime equals 28 MPa, FY equals 276 MPa. Column size is 255 mm x 510 mm x 3000 mm. Vertical bars of grade 276, 10 pieces 20 mm bar. Lateral ties of grade 276, 10 mm bar, 3 sets spacing, 5 at 100 mm, 4 at 150 mm, rest at 250 mm. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel.